so much to explain right now. Uh, we've been getting lucky here in Mexico with all these crazy abandoned locations, but this one is like a 50-50% chance. I don't even know. It's getting really intense to get inside Doll Island though. For starters, to get to Doll Island, you need to get to a port in Mexico City. There's three ports, only one, one port will actually really bring you there. Now, there's also a fake Doll Island. Now, people all over, when they say, I wanna go to Doll Island, they bring everyone to the fake Doll Island. You have to know that there's two Doll Islands. One's completely fake, that looks real, but it's not. So you gotta make sure that you know, you know you're going to the real one. But now, you can't even go to the real one because the government and everyone closed it off. We're here to attempt it. We have to actually, hear, once again, bribe people. But this time, we have to bribe more than one person to get through this one. And that's why we don't even know if they're gonna let us in. So we're gonna take the boat ride, which we're already bribed the, the people to bring us, then to bribe another guy who lives on the island. So I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Um, what port are we in, by the way? Puerto Cuemanco. Cuemanco. Here, Embarcadero. Okay, because there's three ports, but this is the port you want to be at. Here's the boat we're going on. To get there, it's, it's a legitimate two-hour boat ride. Now, Mike says this is what? How, how many attempts have you tried to get to Dodge? So, I came down to Mexico City for the first time last December. Pretty much exclusively because I wanted to go to this spot and a couple others. This is my fifth time in Xochimilco. Three of those times have been trying to get to Doll Island. This is my fourth try. There's a fake one. People say it's closed. It's, there's all kinds of these stories about trying to get there. And I think... I think... There's boat crashes. <laughs> yeah. I think we finally figured it out. We don't know yet. We're we, hoping. We paid a dude. He says we have to go to the area. It's closed. We've got, got to pay another dude. And get in the island, we gotta pay another dude. So right now we are here with our fingers crossed. The reason why the real Doll Island right now is closed as of Right. 30, it's the first today. Yeah, the first of December 2016 is because there's a music festival for the Day of, Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead that goes on every year. Which a month year, ago. Which, yeah, happened a month ago. And I guess their people weren't paying their tourism taxes. So because of that, the government just said, you don't know, screw it, we're shutting the whole place down. And that's why as of right now, December 1st, 2016, it is just closed. So if we get in, if we get on this island, we're going to be the first ones to, to probably even see it again until they, you know, sort everything out. Do what you're doing anymore. Yes, those signs are like no trespassing so they, pretty much built, by the government. The we are so close. We are right in front of Doll Island. Now we just have to hope and pray we can get in. Just looking through it, you can see little freaking doll heads. Damn. She's been there for a while. She's like freaking faded like green from like, I don't know, just nature taking over. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That baby it looks like it's <gasps> running. Whoa, this, look at that. Yeah, this is insane. Them all. I can't believe we're, we're here though. Like, oh my God. You guys don't understand. I this to, to me, this is like, like a personal goal and very big on my checklist. So to check this off, I feel like I'm very closer to dying happy now. <laughs> Dead serious. That's what he's saying. Él se llama Miguel. Miguel. Ah. Miguel Corre. Canadiense. Canadiense. Sí. So he said, yeah, uh, he's saying it's closed, he but said. that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't go on. Okay, come on. I'm like shaking right now, no bullshit. And you get the good guy. Miren, estamos clausurados, no puede pasar la gente. Y este, ahora sí que ya tenemos dos meses y todos los embarcaderos saben que no hay servicio en la isla. Okay. Sí nos dijeron. Ah, sí. bueno, qué bueno, sí, qué bueno, sí. qué bueno, ahora uh -huh. sí, qué bueno. Eh, para televisión, no. No, es, no, no, no. Es solamente no. como un blog. Ah, bueno. Blog. Es, es ahora sí que depende de la... Este, de la uh, that we have, yeah. Yeah. ¿Cómo? ¿Hay otro problema? Dime. Otro oh. problema. So, what, so what exactly happened? Um, so the conversation that we had with... Um, the guy here is, um, he was a bit concerned because he thought we were with newspa news newspapers or like TV or something and wanted to report, but the place has been closed officially for two months because they were kind of bending the rules of what they're allowed to do here. So um, we've talked to him and he has, uh, he said like the risk I'm taking to let you guys on the island is very high because I can get a very big fine for doing that. 
but um, because he has to make a living somehow, and it's the middle of nowhere out here, like we, we, we've been driving in 20 minutes in this boat, it's the middle of nowhere, there's no other ways to make money really. Um, he's decided to put us on uh, for a small tip, so yes. we'll make that happen. For, uh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> we did it, we made it, it's actually happening. We are getting so lucky every time, I swear to God. All right, I can't believe we're just walking in the island. Oh my God. Oh my god. This is insane. First thing you see the So we're gonna go over some history right now. So there was a, a guy who was heartbroken and he moved to this island to stay away to just get away from everything. One day he was on this island and there was a girl who was drowning and he tried to save her but he couldn't and she died. So then as time went on, he kept hearing these voices at night, girls crying, like spooky noises and like scratching sounds, everything. And he, was, he felt he was haunted by that girl. So then he decided to, to do like a gathering, like a giving. You know how we were at the, the abandoned hotel just in la our last video? Oh no, two videos ago. And we had to give an offering to the, to the little girl in the altar in the basement before we can film. Well, that's how their culture is. So he decided to collect dolls. Every day, every other day or every day he would buy a new doll or get a new doll imported here and he would just hang it up on the trees to try to give to try to stop the haunting that was happening to him at night. As time went on, he got he was you know everyone reported to him as a, as a big drunk. But as time went on, he actually died in the river, the same spot the girl did. Now the nephew, who we just seen, he lives here, and he's the one that kind of just takes care of this place now. Now the place got so big, so famous that people are making fake islands, like fake doll islands, all around Mexico. But this is the authentic, real one, and it is actually closed right now for apparently two months. And we're lucky to even be on here. Oh my God. This guy almost looks like he was about a dab. So these are the gays that we first came for. Damn, some of these are just completely busted up. Jeez. Just doll heads too. It's not just like freaking like doll bodies and full doll sets, but it's just random doll heads. I mean, look at this. There's even a little doll. That's like the smallest doll here. It's just the story and like the voodoo vibe and, and the history that just makes this place so unique. This is probably one of the most unique places in the world. You're not gonna find just freaking dolls anywhere else like just hanging off trees and stuff. I think this is the scariest doll here. I'm not sure, but man, it definitely looks like it. Look at this. We just encountered a doll hut. Let's go inside the doll hut. What the hell? <laughs> Unbelievable. Freaking a baby stroller. Oh, this looks like voodoo dolls. Damn, lots of spider webs. I hope I don't get attacked. Suitcases? This doll has a different head. That head does not go with that doll. It's obvious. I think this is the coolest spot in the island. Oh my god. Look. Jeez. This actually gives me the creeps. No lie. I think this, yeah, this is the shrine.
He's the guy who owned the island first. There he is. Oh, this doll has no eyes. Man. I mean, look, this is like years and years of piled dust. This is random and kind of weird in a way, but I feel like if I stop running out of places that are kind of like this, like, ran like random, spooky, creepy, abandoned, unique, you know, just different. If I stop running out of these places or actually end up doing them all, I think I would actually get depressed. I feel like, like this is like, in a way, what I'm living for. Like I feel that rush, that adrenaline, and even the, like I feel up that emptiness inside when I come to these places. And like this is, like I said, one of the top ones, so I feel really, really good right now. Same how I felt when I went to Nara Dreamland, Chernobyl. Um, but I mean, I don't think I'm ever gonna run out. There's always other unique places. I mean, there's tons of abandoned places. I'll be here for years and years and years. I'll probably be done YouTube and I'll still be doing them. But, you know, it's dedication to do this stuff. It takes like, you know, you gotta find the people that would help you do it and you gotta con you know, get the contacts. You gotta definitely like pull some strings. You gotta go out your way. You gotta think out of the box. So the Spanish word of Doll Island is Isla Muñecas. from Marianella who was talking to the owner and uh, the owner is the nephew of the uncle who was the original owner here and basically he was saying that most people don't get the story right because all the information is kind of like scrambled and it's word of mouth and it's online and so about 99% of the people don't know the true story and that's why I'm actually keeping the intro in because that's the original story that's the story that everyone hears now the actual story of what happened here is the uh, the uncle was here 60 years ago and he saw three women in the uh, river swimming about in their mid 20s and one of them started to drown and that red cross that you saw that is where she drowned like in the water right in front of the red cross so to keep the spirits away of that girl uh, who drowned right by his island he bu he brought dolls from other canals and the trash and he put them up and he only put up a couple of these and then the tourists came to this island and they actually started putting up dolls themselves so about probably i don't know maybe 30 percent of the dolls are original and the others are from tourists also putting the dolls up around this island so many people don't actually know that story but you have to hear it directly from the source here <laughs> 